You know, sometimes in our spiritual lives, we can get caught up with ourselves and how much we think we know because of all of the information that we have access to. But it is good always to refresh our perspective of the God who created us and sustains us on our life journey. I am not skilled to understand what God has willed, what God has planned. All of us who confess faith in the omnipotent and all-knowing Heavenly Father must also come to the place in our lives when we recognize just how limited we are in our vision and thinking when compared to the limitless counsel of the Almighty. The funny thing for us is that we call our Lord Savior, as He rightfully is because He was sent from heaven to deliver us from our sins and to prepare us for an eternity with Him. But the reality is that he saves us from so much more than our separation from our Heavenly Father. When we submit to and trust his wisdom, we are saved from many of the threats that can come from living a life that is not governed by godly principles, right? Seriously, think about this. How many problems that we observe in society would actually go away if everyone lived according to the instructions of Holy Scripture. What, there would be no greed, no murder, no slandering, no quarreling, no unfaithfulness in relationships. There'd be greater care, consideration, and concern for each other, which would mean a more purposeful and peaceful existence for all if we would just trust in the Lord with all of our heart and lean not to our own understanding, but in our ways, acknowledge Him and allow Him to direct our path. He saves us from ourselves too, right? So many of the bad decisions that we make are as a result of us choosing to follow the principles of the societies that we live in, which often influences our actions towards being more materialistic and selfish, right? Now, much of the present worldview leads us to want only the best for ourselves at any costs, by any means, regardless of who gets hurt. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceful, gentle, reasonable, full of good mercy and good fruits, impartial and without hypocrisy. Now, when we get rid of our proud thoughts and acknowledge that as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are God's ways higher than our ways and his thoughts than our thoughts, we are able to access and accept the grace, mercy and pardon that he so freely gives us, especially in the times of our lives when we mess up and get things wrong. Let us be encouraged not to think more highly of ourselves than we should, as we enthrone our Lord and submit all of our lives to him because he knows best. And let us fulfill the mission and purpose given by him who is seated at the right hand of the eternal and only wise God.